Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In this video, we're going to talk about basic EKGs. Super basic, but I want to at least give you an idea of what you're looking at. Maybe you have to call for an ambulance, the paramedic puts you on a four lead, and you see the heart monitor over there, and you're like, I have no idea what that even is supposed to mean. Maybe you're at the doctor's office, and they put you on the heart monitor with the screen up on the TV there, and you're like, I have no idea what that means. So I wanted to show you some graphics. We're going to put some pictures on the screen and walk through just the very basics of what the little squiggly lines mean on the heart monitor. So a normal heart rate is between 60 and 100. Now, lots of things can mess with that, vary that. If you're having anxiety because you're at the doctor's office, now they're putting you on a heart monitor, that can of course speed up your heart rate, things like that. But 60 to 100 is normal. You're gonna start out with four leads on you. They're called limb leads. They're supposed to go on your arms and legs, but you may very well find they put them on your torso just because if they've got cameras looking at your arms and legs, which is basically what these are, they mess up. So a lot of people put them on the torso here. That's just give us a quick look at what's going on. All right, so first of all, this is what a normal heart rate is supposed to look like. You have your P wave, which is your first little bump there, okay? And then we have what's called the QRS complex. This is the big wave that jumps up there. And then you have a T wave, okay? It should be similar to this. Hopefully, if you're at the doctor's office or the paramedics putting you on the heart monitor, it looks similar to this. So the first wave we come to is what we call the P wave. And that is when the top of the heart, the atrium, is contracted. Electricity fires from the top of the heart and works its way down. So this is the top part of the heart. Boom, it contracts, it gives us that wave. It should be fairly close to the next wave, which is the QRS complex. And this is where the ventricles, the bottom of the heart, is is contracting. Now, somewhere in this big complex here, the top heart's resetting, but it's buried, not get super complicated. Uh, but then our last wave is the T wave, and that's where the ventricles are resetting. So it's like fire, fire, reset, and keep going. Also, when you're looking at these complexes, they should be nice and regular. Now, you can have irregular heartbeat. Uh, a lot of elderly patients have what we call AFib. And it's completely normal for them. They take medication for it to control it, and it's just fine. But they generally are aware that you have AFib. So if the provider wants to take a little bit better picture of your heart, they may do a 12 lead. And it's more cables going across through here. It gives us a little bit better picture of the heart. It's not a complete picture of the heart. It's a little better picture of the heart. And what we're looking for here is what we call ST elevation. That could be that you're having a heart attack. So we're going to look at the screen. Hopefully everything's flat, straight across. But we could see something like this, and you can see where the T wave and the S wave there, ST elevation, doesn't come back down to the line. And we're gonna start doing some more diagnostic tests and probably give some more medication. I know this video was super basic, and I just kinda of wanna give you a little bit of an insight of what's going on there. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training.